Hello, hello, hello. Today is Sunday, April 12, 2021. I'm still very puzzled about the origin of those weird tracks on the road. I will probably summarize in a few days uh, solutions, although none of them are really very attractive or believable solutions. But to give you more chance, maybe even to give myself more time, here follows some key information during the past week that may help you. Oil can be absolutely excluded. Car would have been <laughs> they lost at least two gallons of liquid. Radiator liquid, out of the question. Brake fluid, out of the question. So, give it a shot. Two more days and then we'll have to somehow conclude that maybe one or two is possible, but I don't think we will find any one that is likely. Give it once more a try, and maybe some of you have a brilliant idea. Have a nice day, of course, take care, and yes, 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 regardless of whether we will ever understand what causes these weird continuous spots the liquid no doubt it's not water would have been left or would have been gone already so we'll be friends that's always a given today is april 8 i'm back at the location where the information about what this track is due is crucial. If I go behind me, this is the direction in which the car was moving, that dripped. This track behind me is at least another one, maybe two kilometers. Now look what is happening here. This track continues to go in this direction. It's, more, it's broader there than it is brought here. What you can see is that if something was dripping, there were holes that dripped more than once because they follow some lines. I'll show you here with my foot. There is clearly a line. Now, even though it continues all the way there, beyond this point, somehow the car stopped here and you see an enormous amount of that stuff coming out. And then it made a turn to the left, but yet this track still continues, must be the same car, but it takes a turn to the left and it went uphill. And I followed this all the way up and I can only track it for about another one kilometer up the hill. Again you see clear indications of one hole dripping repeatedly. So you get some some lines. It's narrow here, much narrower than on the road and it continues for at least a kilometer. Then if I turn around 
all of a sudden, out of the blue, well, not quite out of the blue, but at the beginning, you can start to see it here already. There is a second trail coming, very narrow. Here it's not very dense. But look here. It's extremely narrow. And it goes back onto the main road. It's broader here. It's broader here. Takes the turn. Takes the turn. And it somehow merges. It's still here, you see. And the big one still there. So this is still the one coming down from the from the hill. And then here they merge again. And they continue. Very heavy here. There was another stop here. You notice that? I don't know why. That stop, after the stop, it doesn't continue. But it does here. <laughs> Whatever that car is doing, kept going all the way, and then we do know that about uh, maybe half a kilometer from here, this line stops. It stops abruptly and does not continue. I still have no clue. Uh, I will discuss many of the suggestions that you people made. And we can exclude many, but we cannot exclude them all. One important thing is that we can exclude that it is a truck that picked up trash. The reason for that is that the dirt here on the road, the dripping dirt, is on my right side of the road. But it is mandatory, because there are almost no houses on this right side, that all the trash cans have to be put on the left side of the house, the left side of the road. And so if there ever is a trash can that picks up, it will come on this side of the road towards me. About two kilometers from where I'm standing now is my house, also on the left side. So we can completely exclude that this is the result of trash pickup. Okay, we'll leave it with that and I may have some more information later. I'm driving now back to my home. Notice no houses on the right side. But if there is one which is coming up shortly, the trash can must still be on the left side of this road. Here there are no houses on either side. And now you see one house coming up on the right side. And you may notice that his mailbox is on the left side. Because when the mail comes in, the mailman also comes on one side of the road that means towards us so the mailman will also stay only on the road on the left and never on the road that i'm driving on now so i'll take you on the right home <laughs> So now 
now you see there are houses here on the left and mine is one of them I will even go beyond my house here you see the trash cans on the left side Passing my house right here, number 140. This is my house. Go a little further. There is a house here on the right side, number 137. And notice that his mailbox is here on the left side for reasons that I mentioned it. So the male person only comes on the left lane for me in my direction. The gentleman who lives there is now checking his mail. Okay, so I think I've given you now some information that Whatever causes the leaking car has nothing to do with any form of delivery or pickup. But for that it drove on the wrong side of the road. It's now Sunday, April 12th. And I see here an interesting spot which ends here. But it continues here, so it's independent. So whatever caused it, it continues like this. And then independently it came down this way. And it stopped like it did later on my right hand. And then it ended. It didn't jump to the right and continued. So it's still very bizarre. I will walk you back. Here, there, you see it here. Very clear. About 30 centimeters wide. Very clear. Very clear, very clear, still very clear, 30 centimeters wide. Oh my god, we have a wrong way to go where it ends. But I will walk you all the way to the end. So, yes, it's probably caused by one car or truck, not by more than one, but uh, okay, you can see very clearly here lines. So there were openings that caused the ribs to come out, the same opening would drip continuously and then that's why you see these, these lines almost like beads on a necklace. That's part of the clue, of course. And then, as I've shown you earlier, then it stood still and there was a huge amount of leaking. It stopped. Now you can argue that, that they went back, but there's no indication that he turned. Because if he turned, you would have seen another track on the side. And that's not there. So you still, you see here the street to my right. And that car went up all the way to the top. I followed it with my car at least one kilometer. 
all the way up there. And then it came back later. And I think this is the track when it came back. And this is the track where it made the turn to the left. <laughs> uh, there's my wife coming. <laughs> It is April 12th, we make this walk every day, almost every day. 